Over the past few months, quite a lot has happened in Cuban. Many controversies, debates, differing opinions, and incidents that have sparked discussions. Hello everyone, my name is Nini aka NZ Cubes, and today we'll go through four incidents involving Ehen. Let's go through these events chronologically. The first incident occurred in February 2024 when Ehen achieved an average of 0.92 seconds in 2x2. This was the very first sub-1 average for 2x2, naturally drawing significant attention. That was not the only reason why it gained so much focus. After he completed the first, second, third, and fourth solves, it was clear from his times that he was on the verge of setting a world record with the last soul being deciding. However, an interesting situation arose. According to the competitor, the judge uncovered the cube before he was ready to begin the solve. According to regulations, this kind of incident qualifies for an extra solve. The problem though was that Yi Heng did not report the issue immediately. He went ahead with the solve and only mentioned the issue afterward. As per the rules, participants are required to report an issue as soon as it happens, which Yi Heng failed to do. As a result, his 0.93 second average was penalized and didn't count. However, after some time, it turned out that Yi Heng requested an extra solve before he would begin solving. Because of this, the board consulted with the delegate and the judge and concluded that the competitor met the requirements of Regulation 11E by verbally appealing to the judge and the delegate at the time of the incident. Therefore, this average was accepted as a record. The second incident caused a lot of attention and led to some big changes in the World Cube Association. Getting a 0.78 average of 5 on 2x2 is quite a rare achievement which made it very interesting and a little suspicious for many people. At first, the issue might not be obvious but looking closely, there is a technique used in picking up the cube called sliding which looks questionable. In 2x2 solving, even tiny fractions of a second are very important so the way a competitor picks up the cube matters a lot. This led to cubers developing techniques like sliding where the timer can start slightly later than usual. While the sliding method was around before Yi Heng, it became more noticeable during his solves. Following this incident, the WRC established rules stating, frame by frame analysis will not be used in all other cases including but not limited to penalizing violations of A6C fully releasing the puzzle and A6D hence flat while stopping that cannot be seen at full speed. Despite these changes, the WCA decided to keep Yi Heng's 0.78 record intact, leading to a terrible reaction from the community. Worst decision I've ever heard. Good luck to every good 2x2 -er trying to beat a sliding world record without sliding. So the sliding technique was used to set the 0.78 world record average, but now competitors cannot use said technique. That seems quite absurd. After this, dysfunction was felt within the double C, and debates on the topic persisted for some time, resulting in the double C board deciding on October 26 to return the decision on the 0.78 average to the WRC. The record wasn't counted, and plus two penalties were added to the attempts. This double C regulations investigation report shows frame by frame analysis of Yi Heng's 0.78 average. In all attempts except for the fourth, the timer start was improperly taken, and in some cases, Cases, the cube would not fully released even during the stopping process. According to regulations, the cube must be fully released upon stopping the timer to avoid a plus 2 penalty. This penalty led to a comment from Yi Heng's mother expressing a form of protest. If her son is in the spotlight, why are other individuals using similar techniques not highlighted? I have no comments on this. You can draw your own conclusions. The third incident occurred in August 2024. The 3.38 single was counted as an Asian record for nearly two months, but it was recently revealed that it received a plus two penalty. The reason remains unknown as the WCA states that they want to maintain privacy. However, from the video, it appears that the participant did not fully release the cube when stopping the timer. Unfortunately, Yi Heng's timer stoppages are problematic and he will need to work on this. A further issue is that judges may not easily notice timer stopping problems during live events which can create imbalances. If a participant does not record a video, their source cannot be verified, leading to instant acceptance as an official result. 
which doesn't make any sense. Due to these risks, I believe that four pet timers will become necessary in cubing and the double CA will likely begin thinking in this direction soon. The fourth incident involves a recently set 3.27 second soul, which also became a topic of discussion. Was it a surprise? Absolutely not. In this specific case, the solve itself, timer start and stop were not in question. However, the participant picked up the cube a few seconds after finishing before the judge wrote the time. According to regulations, the participant is not allowed to touch the cube until the judge has signed the time on the scorecard. Some community members argued that since the judge started signing, it shouldn't be counted as a DNF. But others contend that the judge hadn't yet observed the solve cube and had just picked up the pen, meaning the solve deserved to be marked as a DNF. In summary, what I want to say is that there has been a word in summary, what I want to say is that there has been a significant wave of scrutiny toward Ehan, but we often forget his age. He's still only 10 years old. Yeah, 10 years old, just 10 years old. And does not fully understand things as much as the adult portion of society does. Also, in each discussed case, it is clear that none of this occurs intentionally, except in the second case where the competitor clearly and openly used the sliding method, which cannot happen by accident. Cubing is currently in a dysfunctional state, and with each new incident, the double C has to add new rules, turning this into an almost unending process. I truly hope that everything will settle down in the near future. That's all for today. Until next time.